Okay. Uh, five-year-old, have fun. Uh, at, at five years old and up towards 10, like a, uh, your goal is to maybe plant some seeds because physically they're strong enough that are probably not strong enough to be able to execute much of what you're talking about, but you're planting seeds and your biggest goal at five is have them still want to play basketball when they're 10. Okay, then when we get to 10 year olds, I don't think most 10 uh, players younger than 10, especially 10, 11, even into 12 year old, I don't think they're, they're strong enough to shoot a one handed shot yet. So you have a couple of choices, you can try to improve the balance and their guide hand, but they're not going to be strong enough to do the guide hand but then they're not going to get enough attention or bandwidth on their, their feet and their balance. So you, you run the risk of not winning either battle. I prefer at the 10 year old range to say, I'm not going to win the battle with the, uh, with the hand placement and guide hand and the release. They're not going to be able to do that well. So I'm going to focus most of my attention on creating better balance and getting their feet wider apart and eliminating the rotation within their feet. Um, and, uh, and then turning my attention to the guide hand and the release and everything like that at the 15 year old range, I, I would say more 13, but just in the spirit of the question, uh, the 15 year old range uh, with the assumption that the feet are now uh, hopefully already in place. So fun feet and then uh, and then release.